So there are a couple money making guides out there for Outwork. They are all pretty good. Now most of them are about a year old and with recent patches have become obsolete. Currently, there are a few new ones that showcase making things or crafting gear to sell. And of course, they show the end result that they've made the so-called bank pretty quickly. About 2k silver or so. However, what they've omitted is the amount of time necessary to make that bank. By that, I mean getting the materials, killing the monsters, and then running to the specified place in the guide to grab that check. If you are adulting in life like me, that means you have less time to probably do these crafting runs. And with the new DLC, you will need a lot of money in a short span of time for your city. So let me try to improve on that. I understand that there are multiple stages in the game, the beginning, middle, and end. For now, I will show you an end game money making guide. And the line for end game for me is the point where you hit or are able to start the Sirocco quest line. I hope you find this guide useful. And also to my viewer Mashi, this video is for you. Hopefully this guide helps you in cutting down the amount of time needed to grind for materials for your city when you get the Three Brothers DLC. Have fun! For this method to work, you will need to have access to the Three Brothers DLC and have progressed enough for you gain access to New Sirocco. Now before you head there, while you meet the three NPCs in Old Soroku, I would suggest exploring the area, especially getting to the very bottom where you find the Scarlet Emissary. Kill it, and don't forget to gain access to the oldest brother. You may explore it if you want, but what I want you to remember are just the spots for the ornate chest and the Scarlet Emissary. Once you are in New Soroku and are finished with the cutscene, we will now proceed to our farming spot. I hope your bags are relatively empty as we will be carrying a lot of loot. Our destination will be the steam bath tunnels located northeast of where New Sirocco is. Once inside and after you kill the first ash giant you see, you will then proceed to your right. Kill the ash giant number two, then the priest ash giant, grab the ornate chest and the regular chest on each end of the area. Then, you will head back to where you came from and then turn to the left and make another left. Here, you will meet a new ash giant with a crossbow. Kill it. Then proceed to the loot area. Once done, you will head to the red door right across from where you're at. Inside, you will find a lot of calories. Head to the right, clear the individual rooms, hit the switch, and don't forget to loot the second ornate chest. Now that you can access the gated right side, head there, kill the Caligris as well as the mini boss Caligri that holds the unawakened grind two-handed axe. Now loot all the Caligri chests available. If done correctly, the run should be around 15 minutes long, even counting the travel time. Depending on the RNG, this should net you about 2k or more silver and a lot of potions as well as other materials. You could also craft the astral weapons as most of the components can be taken or received from the ornate chest or the Caligri chest. And the tentacle monsters are outside ready for you to farm. So hopefully this answers why I have so many potions when I stream. I farmed it all from here. Now from this point, you will force a reset by talking to the NPC named Josef and help him build for 7 days. Before I go on further, I would like to point out that each mission gives you 150 days to complete. If we divide that by 7, you have about 21 weeks to do this safely, or to be extra safe we can drop it to about 18 weeks. I would suggest that you reset after you've planted your new buildings or when your buildings are going from one stage to the next, as each stage have or has differing amount of days needed to complete. At the start, it goes from 5 days, then later 7 days, and more increments later on depending on the type of building. From here, you just rinse and repeat what I've shown. And if you get bored, you can add a few rotations that I think 
are close enough and fast enough to warrant the time you want to spend. You can add going to old Siroku and just focus on getting the ornate chest in that area, as well as the one inside the oldest brother. Do not forget to kill and farm the Scarlet Emissary before you reset your week as they usually drop the necessary materials for your specialized upgrades. You can also go to the River of Red or to the Calgary Arena and if you have your arena up, you can do that as well. If you are using my Guts build, the arena should only take about 5 minutes for all the rounds and if you get far enough, you can add the Scarlet Sanctuary to your list of Scarlet Emissaries to kill. Also, I would like to add that if you can help it, try not to trigger your next quest. That way you can abuse the weekly refresh without having to worry about a timer. Overall, I think that just doing the Giant's Cave is sufficient enough to fund your expenses for the buildings and then some. Hopefully this helps anyone out there who has a short amount of time to play and don't want to spend one hour or more just grinding for a measly 2k silver.
have something you need.
ಹಾಗೆ Hey, if you like the videos or you found the videos helpful, please consider liking, commenting, or even subscribing. Feedback of any sort will also be appreciated and helps me create better videos. So once more, stay crazy and 